please. Thank you so much for this awesome opportunity. I want to thank everyone that will watch this all the way up until May 8th. Patterson, it's time. It's time to make a change. And we are the people, I am your candidate, that can do it. Let's go on this vision and journey of time. Wouldn't it be wonderful to see Patterson, our streets clean, safe streets, no potholes. Wouldn't it be nice to see all of our educational resources in place where our children are able to go to the park, they're able to play, they're able to compete not just on a local level but on a global level. Wouldn't it be wonderful to hear good things come out of Patterson and to hear us known as our, by our strengths and, and not our weaknesses? Wouldn't it be great to hear great stories out of Patterson versus the negativity that comes through the news media and all other outside sources? It's time, Patterson. It's time for us to build the foundation for a better Patterson. It's time for us to engage the community and make sure your voices are at the table. It's time for transparent and, and, and accountable government. It's time for transparent and thought, thought leadership. It's time for us to be in a position where we can pay our bills online and we're not able to just write a check or stand on a long line. We need to move our technology from the Flintstone age to the Jetsons. It's time for us to have responsible enforcement where we can prioritize all of our code enforcement issues to make sure that we're ahead of the game and not behind it. It's time to ensure that we make sure that we care for our workers. We make sure that we have in place some um, private labor agreements that make sure that people that have skill sets like construction and pipeline work and electricians, that they get a, a, they get a part of the job opportunities in the city. It's time for us to economically empower our community by economically empowering the people. We can't have a, a safe city unless we make a safe city where people are attracted to it unless we take care of the crime and make sure that we have police on the street. We have to make sure, because we're a cash-strapped city, we have to make sure that we can find resources by having a program management office in place to make sure that we have grant writers, to make sure we have a program management office in place so that we don't have streets sort of paved and then have to be um, pulled up because public service is doing it before you dig. We have to make sure that we have people that are on, in these positions that take care of the concerns of the residents and the city of Patterson. In my capacity as a pastor, I have the wonderful opportunity to be your full-time council person where you can call me all day. I'm available. I can, I'm ready. I'm willing and available to be able to hear, listen, and to be that individual that will listen to your concerns. I'm running for councilwoman at large because we need someone that will be our voice. We need someone that will be our ears, our eyes, someone that's experienced, someone that's not willing to come um, to, this, to the council and learn and have learning curves but is open and, and ready to receive information. I've been in the city all my life. I'm a single mother of four. Um, I have two grandchildren. I've been in the city. I've been advocating. I've been serving this community for over 20 years. Haven't been doing it because of a paycheck, not doing it for a title not doing it because I want my name in lights. I'm doing it because I represent you. I represent your concerns when you can't speak. I represent your eyes when you can't see. I represent your ears when you can't hear. I am here for you. My name is Elisa Mims. I'm 3B on the ballot. Estoy aquí para ti. I am here for you. I am Lalisa Mims. I will fight for you. I will advocate for you. I will be the person that will serve you as a full-time council person where you'll know who I am, you'll know where I am, and you'll know that when I vote and I'm advocating is in the best interest of the city of Patterson. It's time for Patterson to heal. So now the ball is in your court. I need all of your friends, all of your family, and everyone you know that when you go behind the ballot booth, you think of Patterson as being on life support and it needs to be shot back into life. And when you go behind the ballot, I need each and every one of you to go behind the ballot and on the count of the three B, I want you to hit that button and I guarantee you that life will be revitalized back into the city of Patterson. My name is Elisa Mims, I'm three B on the ballot. Um, you can reach me by coming to my headquarters, 247 Broadway. My phone number is 973. 902-1957. You can also text me, Facebook. I'm on Facebook, Lisa Bims. I am not new to this. I've been doing this. Patterson, it's time to make a change, and we are the people that can do it. It's not an I thing, but it's a we thing. Let's move this city together forward. Make the right choice. Vote for Lisa Mims. I'm 3B on the ballot. Thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity.